Hello, welcome back. My name is Chris Miller, and in today's tutorial, we're going to continue the series of how to build a WordPress plugin. Now, if you watched the previous video, you have you will have learned uh, how to uh, define a plugin or create a plugin folder in a file, and then add the comment header at the top, and then have that show up in the back end of WordPress but that doesn't give us any sort of functionality at all. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can define a custom post type in WordPress and do that within the plugin. Now, if you're used to theme development, you know that you can uh, define the custom post type within the functions.php file, uh, but then you can also take any of that functionality that you create in the functions.php and easily move that into a plugin or just start developing with a plugin altogether. Now, if you're not familiar with custom post types, we'll be covering that in a future video. That is a way to define new types of posts in WordPress. And posts can be people or portfolio or pages. Uh, that's just the terminology WordPress uses, but we'll cover that again in another video. So let's get started. We are here at, on our test site. We're gonna, I'm gonna get rid of these folders here. I just really wanna focus on the Hello World uh, plugin that we started in our previous video. So go check that out if you haven't watched that yet. So let's, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hit save. We're gonna close out of this and we're gonna, Go to our project folder again, test site, app, public, let's go down to WP content, plugins, and then we're just going to take our hello world and click and drag it down to our editor. Okay, so uh, where we left off in the previous video was defining the header up top. That's what, uh, that's how our plugin is defined in the backend of WordPress. Um, let's say that we want to um, create a new post type called events in the back end of WordPress. So the scope would look something like this. In the back end, we have, uh, let me zoom in, posts, pages, comments. These are all different types of posts. And we want events to show up somewhere over on the side. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and rename the plugin. Uh, type out a short description and then go and grab the custom post type uh, function or object and then update some of the arguments there. So uh, we're going to say events custom post type and we're going to delete all this and we're going to say uh, this plugin will find a new custom post type. So we, oh, so you can manage events. Okay, cool. I hit save. Uh, let's go ahead and update our file to stay consistent. We'll call this uh, events. And let's go over to our folder and update the folder name to also be events as well. Now, I think it's important to mention this in the WordPress ecosystem and any CMS for that matter, uh, when you're dealing with plugins or modules, those types of things, um, there's a likelihood that the name is already going to be used. So you want to be more specific here. So let's just say that we want to um, say CM events for Chris Miller, maybe. Uh, that's going to make it more unique so that there's no conflict in a future uh, instance. If say uh, a WordPress, someone running a WordPress site were to install two plugins with the same name, that would create a conflict. So you wanna be specific when uh, naming it. For this video though, I am going to be generic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be risque and just simply call it events for right now. So hit save. I might need to just close out of that folder and go ahead and reopen it. There we go. And now let's go in the back end and refresh. And we can see, <laughs> we see two versions. Yeah, 
And that's probably because we're running into a naming conflict. What did I say? So let's go ahead and update it then. Let's go ahead and change this to be. Um, let's say my. Uh, no. Yeah. My. Custom event post type. My custom event post type. Go ahead and close that. We'll click and drag the folder back onto VS Code. And then now let's do a refresh. Mm, interesting. Why are we seeing this here? Oh. Oh, because there's still the Hello World event. Okay, so let's get rid of that. And let's go ahead and refresh the page. Okay, all right. Confusing myself here. Let's go ahead and whittle this back down. Let's call this events. Close out of this. Click and drag. And then let's call this events. What happens now? Okay, there we go. Silly me. I made a mistake there. No worries. Okay, so click activate. And now we're activated. And we're still not going to see any functionality. We don't see an event over here on the left. That's because we haven't defined our custom post type yet. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to say WP custom post type. Let's scroll down a little bit. Oh, Registering custom post type. Okay, this is starting to get into it. No, not quite the documentation I'm looking for. Okay, hold on one second. Maybe under post types. Ah, uh, see, this is where it goes into the documentation talking about the different types of uh, core post types or default post types there. Still not what I'm looking for. Let's say uh, register post type. Here we go. It's getting closer. Getting closer. Okay. Zoom out a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's go back to the top. We're going to use a uh, generator to generate our custom post type code, one that I like a lot. But before we do that, let's understand what this is doing for a second. Again, we're focusing this video on creating a plugin, not uh, registering a custom post type. But I think while we're here, it's worth mentioning. So the register post type function uh, accepts some parameters. And those are the post type, what we want to name it, or the key and then all of these arguments. So it's gonna be an array of all these items. Label, labels, they want the singular and the plural. Description, whether it can be public or not. Whether it can uh, be uh, have a hierarchy or not. Uh, exclude from search, so on and so forth. Lots of parameters to pass in through here. Now I'm gonna type in uh, WP custom, if I can type correctly, custom post type. Uh, generator. Oh, thank you. I mis misspelled that. Obviously can't type right now. And this is a really, um, this is a really great tool here uh, made by Generate WP. I'm not sure who the developers are behind this, but kudos to you. You built a great and amazing tool. Thank you so much. Um, so down below is a big O code <laughs> snippet uh, for defining the function. So I'm um, defining the custom post type. Sorry, getting ahead of myself there. So we've got the function custom post type. Inside of that function, we are defining an array. 
And then we have our keys, which are all the parameters. And we have the values over to the right. And then we have another, uh, another array where we're setting another uh, list of key value pairs. And then finally, we're calling the register post type function provided to us by WordPress, the um, key or the name of the post type, and then the args that we had just defined above. And, and then uh, ultimately, at the end, we're using a WordPress hook, an action hook init. So when WordPress, uh, WordPress, WordPress initializes, we're going to pass in that function and then define our post type. We're gonna click up here to uh, general um, function name. We'll leave it alone for now. We're just gonna go ahead and skip the post type. Uh, the post type key, we're gonna call it events. Uh, name singular will be event. Name plural would be events. Uh, the description, um, let's say, uh, events for, I don't even know. I can't even think planning. Okay. Let's update the code there. And it's updated a few things for us here and it should have updated the key down below, which it did events. So let's just go ahead and copy that and close out of the tabs, paste the code below and we're going to hit save. Now, when I flip back over into the back end of WordPress, I'm going to do a refresh and we should see our events. And we do see our events, but it doesn't say events, it says post types. Let's go ahead and update that. So we're gonna flip back over. We did not update the menu name or the name admin bar. So let's go ahead and do that. So say events, we update that to say event singular. We'll leave the rest of it alone. Let's go ahead and hit save refresh and now it says events. Let's take it a step further and let's give an icon to our event. So let's say WP dash icons. And this is their um, supported uh, list of icons for the WordPress dashboard. And let's search for calendar. Sure, I like this one. Let's grab that. And let's copy out the dash icon uh, slug there. Where is, I do believe it's down here in the args. Ba, 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 ba. Where to go, where to go? Nope, okay, let's see. WP register post type icon. Do a quick page search for icon, menu icon. Okay, I think that's going to be in the arg. So let's drop it in here at the end. Say menu icon. Go save. This may or may not work. <clears throat> yep, it worked. Cool. Awesome. So now we have our calendar icon sitting before events. We click events here. We can see we have a new screen where we can manage all of our events. And if we click add new at the top here, we now have a screen where we can add a new event. So we'll say my new event. Publish. Click events, and there we have it. So we're gonna wrap it up at this point. What we've done in this video is we've uh, continued to build upon the plugin that we defined in our previous video, and we've learned a little bit about WordPress custom post types and how to define one, and we defined an event uh, custom post type and have now added our first event to the site. All right, so. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. If you're on Twitter, come find me at Miller T. Chris. Leave a comment in the section below if you have any suggestions or any questions and come back to see some more videos. Thank you.